Hi guys, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. And one of my favorite flowers that loves the sun in the heat of the summer is the sunflower. And I wanna grow a lot of those, and we'll get into that why in a minute, but I always do the sowing the same way every year. I may change between peat pellets because it's a taproot or put them in larger containers, but I wanna focus on seed germination. So I did an experiment, long winter people. <laughs> and what I did is two of them, I soaked as normal for eight hours, okay? The other one, I did nothing to. And the other one, I cut the little end off the shell of the sunflower, hoping the water will go in faster and make it sprout faster because they do take a while to sprout. So the results, <laughs> okay. And really by color, you could tell what the results are. Well, let's do first or last place. Last place is the one where I cut the tip off. And when I pulled this out, I bumped it and broke it. <laughs> but this one came out last of the soil. It took a long time to germinate, which surprised me. And I may retake this test. And two, it was more wimpy. It kind of folded over like this. I don't know why, but maybe it had to turn around in that shell. I I nicked the wrong end. Second place are these two red stems. And these look healthy, they're strong. And these are the ones that I soaked for eight hours. Nothing wrong with it. The winner, I was so surprised, is the one that I did nothing, nothing at all. Talk about saving time and everything else. A new way is this one. It came out two days earlier, and um, the color for some reason is a little different on the stem, and it's taller, it's been taller by inches, but now the one that I soaked are catching up, so it's almost equal now. So who's got the better root system? We'll find out when I, I move it around. So this was just a fun experiment, so when you're gonna start your sunflowers, and you're going to start them inside, usually um, April is the time to do it, is um, just drop them in the soil. That's it. And you can watch our videos on that. I'll attach it. Now, why do I want to start so many sunflowers? Well, you know, I love decorating. That's one of my passion. I went to school for that for a while. And I love dried flowers and arrangements. So, can you cut a sunflower and use it for an arrangement? Yeah. Now, on some of them, if you cut it, you're probably not gonna get any more, but you know that. Secondly, they make great dried flowers. Now, the one that I started was the Magic Roundabout. Is that beautiful? I mean, perfect. Now, what I liked about this, it's a tall sunflower like the rest. I forgot what it is, but um, I don't know. So six foot, I need glasses. And, um, but it only has like four inch heads. So that's perfect for dried flower arrangements. Some of the bigger ones are nice, but they're really bulky and you have to know exactly where they're going. Four inch still makes a statement. Now, some of the other ones we're gonna do is drop dead red. These are tall, they're a showstopper, everybody's gonna look. Then we have the mixed colors, which you can never go wrong with these. And the skyscrapers, aren't they great? And my all time favorite, it's not a skyscraper, it's the dwarf. Teddy Bear Dwarf. These are the most adorable sunflowers. They last a long time. Um, I recommend these big time. They were easy to start and everything else. Now, what I like about a sunflower is <clears throat> it has one big head. Is that one big flower? 
No, that doesn't produce any seeds. What it does hold is all the florets, and there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of little flowers in there that people don't realize that. And those are what produce the seeds. And so um, that makes it a perfect cut flower because all that pattern, geometric pattern is perfect. But this was just a fun experiment. So for you to start them, um, and also I'm gonna link a video on um, companion planting. Why is that important with a sunflower? Remember, a sunflower has allelopathic properties, which means it's a very bad neighbor for other plants. People don't realize that. So it'll actually hurt your other plants, especially potatoes. So watch that. Watch how I go around that to get them still in the garden because they're good pollinators. It's really great. And then a couple other videos on just seed starting. But this is Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. Let me know what varieties you um, plant and I got to go back to experimenting. Have a great day. Thumbs up.